very warm welcome to one and all. It is Tuesday now, June the 6th, and today I'm able to take you for a visit around Blackpool Zoo. I'm outside the entrance now, so let's all go inside and see all the wonderful animals on show at Blackpool Zoo. I do hope you're going to enjoy this video. I've just made it through the reception area and now we enter the zoo itself. Oh look, these two lovely peacocks just walking past us here. Oh, isn't that a pretty coloured one? Well, in fact, they're both pretty coloured. On this beautiful Tuesday afternoon, our first view of the animals. And in front, the camels in their pen. And there's one going to come down now. Yes, he's going to come and have a look at us. Yes, the camels in their pen. Inside this cage here, you are looking at King Colobus monkeys. They can be found in West Africa in rainforests. And as you can see, they have an unusually long tail and they are ever so playful. The King Colobus monkey. Very lucky here. A close-up view of this stalk. And this is known as a white stalk. And he feeds, he finds his food and stabs them. Type of feeding is known as simply stabbing. Very much like a knife. The stalk. We have found our way now to the sea lion pool. There they are, all swimming happily and merrily. They have a lovely pool here, they really, really do. And there's the waterfall there as well. Beautiful, beautiful sea lions. So graceful in the water here. Great swimmers and divers. Penguins. Yes, we're now looking at the penguins. Just part of where they live. Very, very happily inside this Blackpool Zoo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you around the other side because there's a new viewing area which one and all will have to view these wonderful animals. And in front here now is the actual entrance. You can climb these steps and you can see all the penguins at play. Beautiful structure this. Look at this, and the viewing area up there as well. I will return here because as you expect on a day like this, it's absolutely packed and I cannot, I cannot get anywhere near the viewing area. So as said, I'll simply come back. Now as promised, we return to the new area of the penguins. Now when we were here first, it was feeding time. That's why there were so many people up there and I had no chance at all to view down onto the penguins. But here now, I have a better chance. And what a spectacular view it is. You can get right up to the glass now and you can see all these penguins happily swimming about after receiving their food. Oh, it's crystal clear that water and they're so happy in there, look. A beautiful viewing area. Wonderful work here that has been done. Superb. Yeah. 
just going to let you see the penguins for a little bit longer. Oh, that one's going right the way down there, look. He's off. So there we are, a visit to their, their water here. And you can just see in the background the other penguins on dry land. There is also this huge play area for the very young. Right virtually next door to the sea lions and the penguins. I have just met this lovely family here and I think they just want to have a few words. Yeah, so we're at the Black Bull Zoo, we're having a lovely time, aren't we? Yeah, lots time. of animals. What was your favourite animal? Monkeys. Monkeys. Lots of monkeys. Elephants. Oh, oh that's great. That's really Thank nice you very day. much. Now you all have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you. Outside his pen, laying on the concrete base, you will see a tapir. Now this animal very interesting can be found in the lowlands in South America and interesting points he has a flexible nose which helps him search for leaves and breathe for a long time underwater the tapir let's go and see the giraffes that's the pen where the giraffes live stay overnight. We're so lucky because we can see these two out in the open field here. A gracious animal this. Two great giraffes. Another view of those two giraffes from another angle. Oh we're lucky I think one is on the move. Is there something else for him to chew on, on those railings there? So there we are, a visit to the giraffes. Previous to leaving the giraffe area, I'm just going to take you inside to see where these two giraffes live. There we are, there's their cages there and the feeding baskets all around. So that's our visit to the giraffes. Now, like the penguins, this area here is brand new. And this is where the big cats live. It's the big cat habitat. <coughs> On this hot day, the lions are all outside in the open. And I do hope you can picture, you can pick this one out. It's in the middle of those two trees there at ground level, laying on the grass. Now, what I have done is to fully extend the zoom function on this Samsung. And I do hope that this video of this lion laying on the grass in this sunshine comes out nice and clear and nice and steady. This wonderful new home of the big cats has only just been completed. So they are now still awaiting arrivals of the big cats themselves. I was able to find one for you in the previous clips. I'm told there's one or two more, but I couldn't pick them out. So in the near future, lots of big cats to arrive here at their new habitats. A black monkey here, putting on a little show for us. Hopefully, he's going to do his act. There he goes. Oh, 
and he's enjoying himself in this brilliant sunshine. We're off again. Well, we thank this monkey very much for his efforts. We'll move on now. Again, I meet a lovely family here and this young man likes to say a few words. Blackpool Zoo is the best, we love it. Well, that's very nice. You've done that very well. Thank you, young man. <laughs> Look at this right in front of us. Now, what are these called? I'll see if I can read it from here. Oh, they are called black howler monkeys. They're called howler monkeys because they have a loud grunting call. Very inquisitive, they're looking all around themselves. The black howler monkey. Now in the cage exactly opposite, there is another monkey because there's lots of variations and species of monkeys. This one is the brown headed spider monkey. See if we can see them. Oh yes, they're up there now, look, can you see them? That's the brown-headed spider monkey. Oh look, there's some outside. Look at this. Right over this enormous lake fond. Oh look, they're going down. Oh, this is good. Easily walking over that, over that. Look at that. No problem at all walking over this rope. Amazing, absolutely amazing. What a wonderful, wonderful afternoon I'm having here at Blackpool Zoo. It's super. I can just capture this for you. These two sea lions, they're standing on the edge now of that water, at water's edge. Look at that, this one standing so proud on the concrete. Oh look, very, very graceful these sea lions. Just in time to catch this, all the gorillas. Look at them, they're outside now. All on that bank there, all the gorillas. That's the whole troop there. That would be the parents and the young. All out in this glorious sunshine. <laughs> now let's go and see the elephants. There's base camp in the background there. Now I would just quickly like to tell one and all that if you are in a wheelchair, you will be easily able to manoeuvre yourself around all areas 
in this zoo. No trouble at all. It is very, very wheelchair friendly. Here we are at base camp and the elephants, like all the other animals today, all out in the open. What a wonderful camp this is. You have to come and see this for yourself. Like I, like everything else I've shown in this video, please come along to Blackpool Zoo and see for yourself. It is fantastic. marvellous clear views of these elephants out in the open here. Oh look and there's one even at the back there. He's having a good feed there. So there we are, that's our visit to base camp and the elephants. I can now capture these views for you. The views of the tortoises. There's two there and moving around there's a giant adult one over the other side there against the wall. And I believe, yes, there's another one directly underneath us. So there we are, there's the tortoises all outside in the lovely sunshine. We've seen because he is actually a predator, so he would actually hunt for his food. So here he comes, his name is Bonjo, and Bonjo here is a British bar now. Are you ready? Where are you going? So this is Bonjo, and he's a British bar now. So we'll hopefully get Bonjo for us today. I have got food there. So I'll just walk around so you can get a good view in first. There is food there. He's confused and he's trying to eat his own feet now. But just walk around and you can all get a good view. He found it. He's almost got it, there we go. So as I'm walking around, I'd like you to have a little look at him here. And we're hopefully going to get him to do some flying. Are you going to eat this or are you just going to hold it? So as you can see, I'm wearing a large leather glove on my hands here, and that is actually to protect myself, because on the ends of his feet, he has four very sharp talons, and when he's hunting, what he would do is he would swoop down, pick up his prey with those talons, and then take it somewhere where he feels safe to eat. You just want to hold it for now. There we go, we figured it out. So what we're going to do now is we're hopefully going to get Bojo to do a little bit of flying for us. Are you ready? You got it. Come on. So just give him a second there. Are you ready? Off you go. There we go. Now if it wasn't for the bell that Bojo was wearing there, he would also be completely silent when he's flying. And that is to make him a really efficient hunter. If you imagine if his prey can't hear him coming, they're not going to know and he's going to have a much higher chance of actually catching that prey. There we go. So bar males actually have a success rate of about 1 in 3 when they're not hunted. And this may still not sound ridiculously high, but compared to other birds of prey such as the Harris hog, they have a success rate of about 1 in 20. So you can see the bar male is actually doing pretty well. Are you ready? No. So as I'm flying Bojo around, you can get a closer look at his eyes as well. And you will notice that he has black eyes. Now a good rule with owls is that the colour of their eyes does indicate the time of day that they would be hunted. And because he has black eyes, that means that Bojo here is nocturnal. So he would be found hunting during the night. 
Now, if you head down to drag where our great great owl live, you'll notice that they have yellow eyes, and that means that they are diurnal, so they would be found hunting during the day. Now, some species of owl even have orange eyes, and this means that they will be found hunting during dawn and dusk. There we go. So, Bojo's just done a really good job there. We are going to keep it quite short with him, and we are going to send him out for his dinner. Are you ready? No, you want to stay? No? Finish your food first. There we go. Now you're ready. And that does bring us to the end of our display. I'd like to thank you all for listening. If you do have any questions or you would like to dump into the World Parrot Trust, I'll just be waiting by the gate and enjoy the rest of your day here at Blank. I'm just using this clip again as a voiceover to explain to you that this video is now coming nearly to the end. I must explain that you have, you have only just seen one tenth a tiny fraction of all the animals that are available at Blackpool Zoo. So please come along and see the many hundreds that are available to view. I'll take you back now to the video, but I just want you to explain this, just the tiny fraction you have seen. The flamingos, all pretty in pink, on their lake where they live in this zoo. And it is from here, looking at these flamingos, that I would like to thank all the management and all the staff at all levels in this Blackpool Zoo for allowing me to make this video and helping me. And also to one and all that was captured on it and I will see you all next time. So don't forget one and all, if you want a great afternoon out, there's no finer place than Blackpool Zoo itself. Bye bye and I will see one and all next time.